guys of YouTube. This is a new video. This time I'll teach you how to insert PHP code on App Inventor and save the data on a data page, which is if one is made on SQL. So if we're going to run this PHP code of user's registration, I have already a video of this. You go watch the video of PHP. Okay, in App Inventor, I already have a design. Okay, so I connect the app inventor to my cell phone. Just wait. Okay, this is the app. If I click on enter, it shows a register form in which you could put the all the information. In this case, we'll do a new account that is a new register. We need name, last name, email, password, and password confirmation. That is uh, this data that is in post form. Okay, we'll do this app in App Inventor. When button register click, we'll do all the data register. We need a web element that is on the design on the part of uh, connectivity. Here, and here is it. And a notifier to send the notification that is this. Okay. Okay. Now on the web element, we put a set URL, which be, will be the registers URL. Set URL. Okay, and we'll put the URL in a text. Okay, and now we will run on the on the principal page on the index PHP on the MBO site, which will be the index of PHP. In this case, will be this one. And now we need the request headers, which will be run our PHP code. Request headers. And we need lists, and we need a make list with one item and another make list. Okay, the first item will be content type, and the second is with the app code. So it, it is this code line. Okay, and now uh, an if to verify that the data of the register isn't in blank or empty. Uh, we need three logics of and and one here and one here and the text. The text box of name and needs to be different to empty. So an equals logic. Okay, here this and this and empty. So we need a different logic and an empty text. Okay, and the same for password email and last name this is gonna be the the password and, uh, we change it here and now another for the email this is the text box of email yeah and by the last for the last name and we change the text box okay and in this case if of empty we'll send a warning to the user so we need an else with an alert notifier 
which will say that some fields are empty. So we duplicate this and we write some fields are empty. And in case that all the files have information, we we'll compare if the passwords are equals or, or the same. Okay, and if and equal logic and the text of password and the text of confirmation. It needs to be equals. In case that isn't equals, we'll send another warning. So we put an else and we put the notifier and here we put the passwords do not match and in this case we need to put it in blank the confirmation text to put the passwords again so this is a text okay now we'll send the data in post form so in web we insert this block post post text and then we're going to send uh, the header request to this first block we'll request data Okay, in this we need to aggregate uh, a list. In writing the list, we're going to have name is equals to and etc. There need uh, to be the files. It will take off of the text. So we aggregate more events. One for name, last name, email, password, and the confirmation. And also the register button. Okay. The first will be the name of the file of the field. There are the data that needs to receive the the form. That we take of the text box of name. On text attribute. And the same for the others, last name, email, and this is the last name, we duplicate this, now email, we change the text box, all the text box, then the last name, here's the, the email, now the password, and then the, the confirmation. We change the, the text box. Okay, now is the confirmation. Okay. And now the register button. It is register equals the register. This is for run the, the event I set of the register on PHP code. That is the button. It's going to be the run the code. So we need to add it. Okay, already done this. We could see in our database. This is my database, and here we'll register all the data. Okay, so let's do a test. We put all the, the data here, the name, the last name. Okay, now the last name, the email, be this. The at um, gmail.com. Okay, now the password and the confirmation. Uh, 
and register. Uh, we forget to put a message of successful register or, or not. So in this case we copy this and we put here successful register. Successful register. We will check on the database if it's it is already registered. So you log in here, and so here is the new data. Okay, so this is the way how to send data in post form to a database and uh, using PHP and SQL. Uh, you could download all the projects from the page, the link is in the description. Don't forget to follow me on social and so to share the videos. Okay, this is all for the video. See you next time. Bye.